All right, let's check out another zero times infinity example. We want to look at the limit as x goes to infinity, square root of x, and then sine 1 over x. So the root x is going to infinity, and then 1 over x, 1 over infinity, that's going to approach 0, and sine of 0 is 0. And so we want to make this look like 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity. And so one of those guys has got to come down to the denominator. Uh, probably not going to be the sine 1 over x, because that would be sine 1 over x whole thing to the negative 1 power. Not going to be a nice derivative. So the uh, square root of x is going to have to come down. That's a uh, x to the 1 half power. And so it'll be negative 1 half power in the denominator. So we have sine 1 over x in the numerator. Now I'm going to write that as sine of x to the negative 1 power. And then in the denominator, I've got x to the negative 1 half power. And uh, so this is 1 over root x. As x goes to infinity, bottom goes to 0. And then uh, sine 1 over x, we already said that guy goes to 0. So this is... Um, this is approaching 0 over 0, or it looks like 0 over 0, which is an indeterminate. Now we can actually do L'Hopital's rule. So this would be limit, um, x approaches infinity, and differentiate top and bottom separately. So here the sine uh, x to the negative 1, that's an f of g of x. That's a composition. So we're going to have to use the chain rule to do the derivative of that. And that's going to be, uh, let me grab this and bring it down a little bit, give myself a little bit more room. There we go. So we're going to do uh, f prime, plug in g of x, and then uh, times g prime of x, derivative of the inside. So derivative of the outside function, cosine. Uh, at the inside function, g of x is x to the negative 1 or 1 over x. And then times the derivative of the inside. So derivative x to the negative 1 is negative x to the negative 2. That's a multiplication there. And then in the denominator, uh, negative 1 half comes down in front times x, and then decrease our exponent by 1. So negative 3 half power. And now we want to simplify this thing before we uh, try and do any more with it. So uh, the two negatives will make a positive. Um, let's go ahead and bring this. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and bring the negative uh, 3 halves power up as a positive 3 halves. That's going to give us still a negative exponent. Let's go ahead and bring uh, this guy down as a positive. So this would be limit. x goes to infinity. And we've got cosine 1 over x on top. And then in the denominator, uh, we have 1 half. We got x to the negative 3 halves times x squared. And when you multiply, you add exponents, right? So this would be limit, x goes to infinity. Um, dividing by 1 half is multiplying by 2. Um, so I'll go ahead and put a 2 out in front. And then we got cosine 1 over x. And then in our denominator, when you multiply, you add exponents. So negative 3 halves plus 2, so plus 4 halves, would be x to the 1 half, which is the same as a square root. Uh, and so now what happens? Well, um, x is going to infinity, so this cosine 1 over x is going to 0. Cosine of 0 is 1, times 2 is 2, so the top's approaching a number. And then as x goes to infinity, x to the 1 half also goes to infinity. So number over infinity, that limit is 0. So always, always remember to simplify before trying to apply L'Hopital's rule again.